Hey everybody, we're talking about field communications today. Amateur radio, ham radio. So I'm gonna dig out my portable rig that I used for hiking back in the day. And I wanna show you my setup and kind of tell you some of the strengths and weaknesses why I chose what I chose and eventually what I moved on to. About 10 years ago, I decided to get into amateur radio or ham radio to do a couple things. One, to stay in communication when I was out hiking. Cell phone reception wasn't quite there. I needed to stay in contact with uh, my party and also wanted to monitor uh, weather. So that worked out pretty good. I had kind of built up the kit and it was really a fun process uh, getting my certification or the license to get my call sign. But to be quite honest, I haven't used this rig in about four years, mainly because since the uh, Garmin now InReach is out, it does basically everything that I do. So I'm gonna show you what was the equivalent a few years ago. So I got it here on the stump and let's go over the pieces. All right, so here's the rig. And I've used a couple radios, but I eventually settled on this, which was the Yaesu FT60. It's a dual band, hard metal case. Uh, comes with a big battery pack. You can get a rechargeable pack right here. And you can get some other accessories, such as the speaker mic, which uh, when you clip your radio to your backpack or inside your pack, you can have your speaker radio if you're just focusing on one tower. Uh, this was also programmable via computer, so I highly recommend that if you're looking for a radio that you can program it via computer or get a cable. I have loaded up all the towers. I think I got a couple hundred towers in here, so I'll, I just set up a different bank depending where I'm at, and I just scan. Uh, weather frequencies I mentioned here, and I went for the coax adapter route, so I'm not using SMA. What came, comes in here, I'm using the coax adapter. And basically what I've done here, I just went for coax antennas. And antennas is the next thing. So I've went through a couple antennas. There's a little whip, dual band. And the beauty with the coax, instead of screwing it in, right, you can just sim simply clip it on. All right, depending where you are, you may want to use another type of whip. And let's say you get a good deal on uh, a whip. So here's another one here. You can see here I, I've added some adapters for the coax and all it is just ease of use to plug in plug out i can s simply switch antennas and this was by far the 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 whip of antenna that i use the most this would slide into the side pack of my backpack and then i just use the speaker mic that way so that worked out really good for me the other thing that i had here is a little grab bag of stuff had my radio certificate here and also have a couple of other adapters and a couple other smaller antennas if I was in the city. Patch cables was also convenient to have. This one here for uh, the right angle coax. Again, you can have the radio in your backpack and again, you can simply clip it on, string it in and then string it into your antenna. So either antennas that I have here. So that was basically the main purpose of the kit. So. I would carry this in my backpack and I either use a big whip or the small whip depending where I'm at. But what happens if I was at base camp or I wanted to summit and really get some signal? Well, then you get into antenna construction and I'll show you that right now. All right, so one of the great things about uh, amateur radio is getting into antenna builds. And part of the easiest antenna you can use to build is what's called the J-pole. And uh, this is my J-Pole. It is a long piece of PVC tubing with coax at the end. And it's uh, quite a good length so that I can use it at base camp, string it around on the table, put it in the backpack. But uh, this is, you remember a TV antenna wire? That flat two strand uh, cable, you can still get a Radio Shack. This is all it is in here. It just goes up to here and it's cut. A little bit of solder, a little bit of tape, PVC, and you get yourself a really good antenna with great gain. And the thing with J-Pole, the higher it is, the better the signal strength and reception. So if you really want to get some good uh, reception or uh, signal strength, get yourself a little uh, aluminum uh, painter's rod here. I found one that was exact, that would fit nicely into the J-Pole, and the diameter would fit on my tripod. And what you end up with is a antenna that could go up to 
over 20 feet. So if you're on the summit, this would be a great way to get a signal out. So basically my setup was I would have my radio, strap it on my shoulder strap, I would use a patch cable, use my whip antenna right here and just hang it outside the backpack and have like basically a radio bag. And if I was at camp, if I really had to get a signal out, I would haul out the J-pole. With the quick connector with the coax, you just simply snap it out, snap it in. Really quick uh, changeover. And if you were doing some car camping, you could also bring uh, the rod, you can also bring the tripod, and really set up a great base station. So. All right, so that is it. That is my portable rig. You can see here in the backpack, everything kind of fits in. And basically all you need to do is figure out what kind of radio you want. 5 watt radio, dual band, that's a nice start. Get a nice whip antenna and then go from there. Find the, the series of cables, patch cables, converters, go coax, SMA, whatever fits your needs. You can probably maybe make your own antenna, repurpose your camera tripod, find the right rod to really get your antenna up in the air, uh, battery packs, solar kits, it goes on and on and on. It's fun, takes a little bit of room in your pack. That's why some of the newer technologies, kind of like the DeLorme inReach, the Spot, those type of satellite communicators, saves a lot of room in your pack for other stuff, so it's kind of a trade-off. So put in the comments what you think, what your setup is, uh, what's your best uh, antenna that you made, all that kind of good stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next video.